All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, giving a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And this will be a response video to this brother right here. I don't know his name. Um, this video was sent to me. And um, it's a pretty good vision that he had. You know, his channel is uh, Kingdom Driven 144. Okay, so you can subscribe to his channel and be edified. Um, but he had a vision of Elder Apostle Tahar saying his goodbyes, all right, concerning, you know, our ministry you know, in the work. And from the vision, it pretty sounds like, um, you know, a vision of the famine of the word, because brothers got to remember that the Lord is going to take us off the highways and the byways. All right. And the famine of the word is going to kick in. And, you know, Elder Apostle Tahar, you know, being our leader here in the flesh. Okay. And in the spirit. You know, there, there, there make there probably is going to come a time where he's going to say, you know, the, the Lord going to put the spirit on him to to say, you know, hey, you know, there's going to be no more street preachings, you know, and most likely that's going to be uh, when, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, when those times approach, because we're not going to be out there on the highways and the byways teaching in the middle of Jacob's trouble when there's military tanks rolling up and down the street where Israelites are being persecuted in the streets. We're not going to be out there in, in, in the middle of the streets teaching, talking about it's time to repent. The Lord is going to take us off the streets before those things happen. You know, and the Lord is going to have to put the spirit, you know, on the apostles and elders to tell us when it's time to get off the streets. All right. So this is a good vision. You know, that this brother um, that he had, man, the Lord gave him a solid vision. And, you know, there's going to come a time where we're just going to have this word. You know, we're just going to have to endure. We're just going to have each other. OK, there's going to be no more videos being uploaded. You know, you ain't going to be getting edified every week. You're going to have the knowledge, wisdom and understanding. You're going to have what you have. OK. That's why it's important to get this now, man, and repent. Okay, so like I said, the brother was going into how, you know, it was basically, we, we were basically wrapping up our ministry, man. And he was saying how brothers were, you know, kind of sad. It was kind of bittersweet because, you know, we don't want to stop doing this work, you know. But like I said, there's going to come a time where we're not going to be on them streets, you know. We're only going to have one another in Salakia. I'm inside the job right now. So if you hear somebody get called on the speaker or some little background uh, music, forgive me, Salakia. Anyhow, um, I, I definitely advise brothers to watch this video, but I'm going to start with the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. OK, and that's our job right now, man. We have to endure until the end. You know, many are called, few are chosen, man. So when it's time to wrap up our ministry, when it's time to, you know, um, just really just sit and wait for the Lord, you know, pray. And, you know, you got to take that leap of faith. Then that's what we're going to have to do, man, because there's going to come a time where these troops are going to come in. Right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. That, that that's going to take place. Um, you know, these different FEMA troops and foreign troops and things of that nature. All we're going to have is this faith, man. OK. And it's going to be a bittersweet moment, but we understand that we're not going to get the kingdom. Unless we enter in at the straight gate, man. So this vision was very, very heavy, man, by this brother. The Lord put a heavy vision on him. And when he was saying, you know, it was when I was thinking about it, I'm like, damn, I'm actually going to go back and watch it again. I watched the whole video, but I'm going to go back and watch it again. 
All right, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So that's all we gonna have is this truth, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All we gonna have is this truth. All right, we're not gonna be out there on the streets no more. The Lord going to take us off the streets. Okay? You're going to have brothers, you know, brothers that's around you. It's probably not going to be um, a lot of traveling. The scriptures tell us that what? A man shall flee into a city and shall not be able. So you're really just going to have the brothers around you, man. You know, you may be able to call a brother on the phone. But it's not going to be a lot of traveling and gathering, man. It's going to literally be you and your faith. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst, of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So there's going to be a famine, man, from hearing this word. Remember, Psalms 19, or um, Psalms 119 the Lord said our voice went into the um, to the ends of the earth. So basically, the 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 um, the job is finished. We just gonna be waiting on Yahweh Shai, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen, and uh, let's see where I'm gonna start. I believe it's Psalms 119. Shalaka, give me one second. Yeah, man, this was heavy, man. And the brother was saying how it was a bittersweet moment. I felt that, man. Shalaka, uh, Psalms 19, not 119. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 4. We'll start at uh, verse 2. It says, Day unto day utter of speech. And night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. And that's talking about right now. Because you could go on the internet and get this thing, man. You can get this word. But there's going to come a time where this scripture is going to be reversed. Pursuant to uh, Amos 8 and 11. Okay? That's why you got to get this while it's, while it's hot, so to speak, man. You know? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Read as much as you can. Watch as many videos as you can. Get edified as much as you can. You know, it says their line has gone out throughout all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. So and especially in that day, it's going to be no excuse for you Israelites, man. We just read where the scriptures say our voices have reached into the ends of the world. You ain't going to have no excuse. The Lord going to destroy you niggas that don't repent. Because he revealed his secrets into his servants, the prophets, man. You know? So, hey, man, I, I, you know, I really um, enjoyed listening to this brother's vision, man. I want to get a few more precepts. Because the Apostle Paul said this. I always bring this scripture out. I finished my course. And that's how we all got to, uh, we all got to, um, take that approach. You know, this is, uh, second Timothy four and seven. It says, it says, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto, unto all them that love, that love his appearing. Okay, so Paul knew that it was a crown of righteousness laid up for him. Once he fought the good fight and finished his course and he kept the faith. And we all have to take that same um, approach to this thing. Once it's time to, um, you know, wrap up our ministry, all we're going to have is this word, man. You know? This word in our balls, man, in our dignity, in our faith. Okay? That's all we gonna have, man. Through the Spirit of the Lord. 
Because a lot of you know, a lot of our family's gonna turn on us. Turn on us. Your closest family gonna turn on you. Your woman, most likely, she gonna turn on you. And I ain't saying every brother's woman is gonna turn on them, but she may take your kids and turn on you. Take the chip. You know, it's gonna get dark out here, man. So yeah, you know, it's gonna come a time where the Lord is gonna put the spirit on the elders and apostles, starting with elder apostles to heart. And we're going to have to wrap up, wrap this thing up and lean completely on your faith, 144%. So, you know, Lord Willingness is edifying. Check out this video from the brother. Like I said, his kingdom is, uh, his Salaki, his channel is Kingdom Driven 144. And um, if the brother sees this video, um, he could put his name on the comment board, you know, because I like to kind of know brother's names. But um, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willingness is edifying. It's the Brother Zion signing off. Shalom.